Okay. Um, let's go over here and jump. There. Woo! Oh, wow. Some of them jumped over. All right, guys. Um, it is the next day in game. It's actually 1020 in the morning because I had to do a couple things in real life and left the game running, Which, uh, but I was watching the screen in case something crazy happened. Um, so I think we're ready to go. So let's see. Let's take a look at how we're prepped here. I decided that we're going to take hook stringy meat for the 100% uh, maximum stamina, 150 max health. Uh, we're going to take the cooked bacon for more 75 uh, or 75 health and 75 stamina, and then grilled pumpkin for the exposure resistance. Um, I went to all that trouble to make the the flatbread, and then I realized that the the flatbread um, increases your thirst by 10%, which is not a good thing uh, because you don't really want to drink in the Arctic any more than you have to. Which also reminds me, um, we're gonna take that with us, but we're not gonna keep it in our inventory and because it gives you the, a cooling buff, which you don't want while you're in the Arctic. Uh, let's see. So that's the food we're taking with us. We've got 97 flint arrows, uh, 20 health enhancement ton tonics, antibiotics, and a poison. We're taking the iron hammer with us, a couple extra torches. Uh, we're taking the, the MXC campfire and some wood pieces to shelter if we, if we you know, can't find a cave in a storm hits. That's that way I've got the hammer with me. Some coal ore for fuel, uh, extra bedroll, and I think we're as prepped as we can be based upon what I know about this... Um, you know this mission which is nothing <laughs> actually uh so let's go ahead and eat our food now and that's all salted too so it should last an extra long time for us and let's head on up to the arctic so what we have to do here is we have to go to this spot here and then set down um a scanner thingamadoodle which portable beacon um scan the deep cannon region so I think we have to use the radar. Why do we have a portable beacon? Collect a radar and a beacon from the dropship storage. Oh, incidentally, I put my MXC furnace back in here um, because we're, we're done with it and I don't want to forget it. So, oh, wait a minute. All right. I think, yeah, we only need one of those. We probably only need one of those beacons too, but I'm going to take them anyways, just in case. It'll probably become clear to us later why we why we need those. Okay, let's hope that uh, there isn't a storm going on in the Arctic, because if there is, we're just going to have to wait it out. There is, of course there is. Oh man, it's a snowstorm and it's just getting started. Okay, well... And then I guess, like I said, we're going to wait for that to complete. So I'm just going to semi AFK right here and work on a couple other things. And I'll bring you guys back when we are ready to, to actually go in there. All right, guys, the storm should be finished by now. I'm thinking, yep, looks like it is. Okay. So let's head on over to our first place to put the beacon thingamadoodle down. And, you know, with the with their composite armor, as long as there isn't any storming going on, we should be okay, I think, for cold. We have 30% cold resistance with this armor. I want to avoid uh, the wolves as much as possible just because I want to save my arrows for what you know when the shit hits the fan which it inevitably will <laughs> i don't oh yeah i don't know uh, what we're gonna have to deal with in terms of bosses or enemies but i'm sure it's not gonna be a walk in the park Here, let's just see if we can evade those wolves I don't think there's any polar bears in this this part of the Arctic. Oh, well, so much for that, eh? Okay. 
You should have just left well enough alone there, Snow Wolf. This is the same Arctic. Oh, crap. We got to go all the way down there. That's brutal. Okay. <laughs> the same Arctic that we were in, but we were way in the southern end of it where we had to build those ramps to get down the cliffs. This guy's right in our path here. piece of ice which we don't need I'm just picking all that stuff up for now I'll probably end up dumping most of it later yeah so I've never actually been in this Arctic biome uh, well I've been in this biome but I haven't been in this area up in the north here That's a little ways down. Um, let's go this way. Looks like we can probably get down through here. to see that they've added trees to the arctic biomes now uh, i don't remember there ever being any trees in olympus maybe there still isn't on olympus yeah that's going to be our spot there because of and because they have added trees you could potentially have a base here i suppose if you wanted to subject yourself to that this is the zone. It's around here somewhere. Okay. You know what? I'm thinking before we activate this, let's... What is that, a lake? Let's go over here. Oh, it is. It's, it's frozen ice. Um... Yeah, let's go over here and set up our shack and put our bedroll down. So if the worst happens, at least we can respawn right here. Bedroll there. Campfire there. Put that there. And Oh, it's not going to let me do that, is it? Uh, well, actually here, yeah, we can do it this way. The roof piece here. And what we'll do then is we'll just might as well cook that stuff up. We'll just make that a wall. Because we, we can just take it down and then pick a, put it back in place after we go in ourselves. I guess that's a, a mammoth. That's probably what's going to attack us, our mammoths. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. I am forgetting one important thing. we got to set that as our spawn point. We actually want it to be our spawn point. You know, I am going to actually drink because the cooling debuff will only last like, what, 15, 20 seconds? And uh, I think we can handle it because I don't want to become dehydrated while we're doing all of this. You 
You know, as long as you can't get up here, I don't really care about you. Okay, here's here goes nothing. That's it. Systems online. One percent complete. Oh, you know what? Let's keep that on the toolbar too, in case the scanner does get damaged, so we can repair it. Okay, what's coming after us? If it's just wolves, I'm down with that. If it's like 20 wolves, maybe not so down with that. If it's onesie twosies like this, this is not a big deal. So far, we're doing pretty good on not breaking our brittle flint arrows. That's a polar bear. It's just got real, ladies and gentlemen. We got this. You guys were all worried. Um, here, let's get this arrow. a couple. Let's see if we can get them by looting. I think I hear another polar bear. Okay, that's 90s. Yep, another polar bear. Get the arrows back this way, it's going to be quicker. Fortunately, some of them are getting stuck down there, which is working in our favor. Here comes another bear. All day. Okay. Uh, another wolf. Let's get our arrows off of this guy quick. And we did it. Whew. Oh, seriously? Stop wiggling. Okay. So that was um, a little intense, but it wasn't absolutely atrocious either. Okay. Hold the pickup. You know, Terra 
forming flash froze a chunk of the terror zone. Huh. Wonder what's buried under the ice. I wonder. Let's go, uh... This guy's bones, too. Not that we're probably gonna need him, but... Alright, I don't care about the rest of these corpses. Okay, so we still have 70 arrows. We're doing good there. Let's go back to our shed. Oh, a snow leopard. Uh, you know, if we go back down to the shed, we're probably going to attract the attention of some of these guys, aren't we? So, um, how best do we deal with this? We can outrun the wolves. I don't know if we can outrun the leopard, though. No, that's not who I was aiming at. There we go. Leopard's dead. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can't outrun those wolves. Alright, we better... better... Take care of them from here, then. Mostly want my arrows back. 67, so we're missing three arrows from what we had before that. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. What about you? Oh yeah, there is an arrow sticking out of his his head. Okay, so we're still with 68 arrows, not too bad. And we can always make so weird. We can always make bone arrows too if we need to. Okay, what time is it? It's 17.07. Um we might want to just stay here and spend the night and then set out in the morning. Um either that or we set out now and get an hour down the canyon and then sleep. Uh, I don't think we need this. Don't really need the polar bear pelt. I'm going to keep the bones or backup arrows if we end up needing it. We don't need the meat or the leather. Oh, I've got seven arrows there. So we actually have 75 arrows. Okay, that's even better. Let's drink while we're next to the warmth here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to wait until 1800, and then we're going to sleep, and then we'll set out. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, guys, it's morning. Uh, let's go ahead and set out. I'm cooking up this fatty T-bone just as an extra um, health, uh, for health more than for food. Um, so we're doing that. Uh, let's take a drink now while we're still by the fire uh, to get our hydration topped off before we set out. And we can pick this up. Grab this and put it down here. How much health does bacon give? 30. Okay, so we'll also take that for health. I don't care about the rest of this stuff. And then we should be ready to set out. I do need to get some sticks. Um, I did go grab some extra leather, but we need some sticks too if we end up making uh, bone arrows too. Okay, so that should get all of our stuff. Something big up there is probably a, a mammoth. Okay, let's head on out. Oh, I uh, also am have a minor wound. Let's take care of that. 
I had to fight off a couple more wolves and another snow leopard. When, uh, speaking of which, looks like we have another enemy here. Okay. So, let's cut down these trees really quick just to get some sticks. Uh, wow, we don't have any room. Okay. Something's gonna go. This this can go. Hi, bunny. Oh, that's funny how it knocks the ice down. Cool effect. Cool effect. Okay, that should have given us sticks. Yep. Okay, so we need just one stick per. Gives us 75. Okay, that should be enough. We have a long trek ahead of us, so let's get to it. I think we're going to go up around this way. Okay, so we are here. Um, we don't have to worry about anything coming from that direction. So I don't think they'll be able to get across the crevasse. Let's see if he can path around it. 
Okay, never mind, they can. <laughs> now, I'm, tr I'm debating whether or not I want to do this now, because we're probably going to get a storm at any time. Fortunately, it'll be a mild storm. But we don't want a storm coming in, uh, you know, in the middle of this fight. If it's going to be anything like the last fight, we, we just don't want a storm. We don't want to deal with the storm, so... But there aren't any caves in the immediate vicinity either. So we'd have to put our shelter down. Just trying to decide what to do here. Okay, yeah, let's just go over to this corner here. Actually, oh yeah, that's pretty deep down there. We don't want to go that way. So let's uh, set our, up our shelter here. Okay, got the uh, spawn point set. Just set that there for now. Um, why don't we... Let's go ahead and just craft these up now. There's no reason not to. That way we have them. We need to, to drink. So let's hop in here and start this. And then we'll drink. We need to refresh this. They're all about even now. And I guess at this point, I guess I have to decide, do I want to risk it and start start it now or just sit here and twiddle my thumb? Wow, look at all the wolves. Twiddle my thumbs until the storm comes. All right. I should have, um, I should have butchered those carcasses because... Yeah, that's probably why I called in all these wolves here. So let's kill these guys and get them butchered. Remember, I have no skills whatsoever in spears. So... I'm impressed that I do as well as I do, which I think is a testament to how well how good spears are nowadays in this game. These guys do pretty minimal damage though, but you know you get enough of them on you, and especially with with a wound, which they can you know give you a minor wound, it can add up. I love how they can hit you from 10 feet away. Actually, no, that's a lie. I don't love that at all. Just being facetious in case. In case anybody was unclear about that. It's probably a good idea for us to clear the... the uh, all these critters out of here anyways. Because we certainly don't want them showing up when we're when the quest critters show up. Okay, so I think that clears all of the corpses. Let's get this guy out of here too. And there's still a couple more wolves moving in. We've cleared the area of all predators in the immediate vicinity. So, again, now I have to ask myself, do I want to risk it or wait for a storm to come through? What time is it? 
It's 12.04. Um, the storms come once every hour, I believe. We might as well cook this meat. Not that I'm going to probably do anything with it, but we'll cook it anyway, because we can. Wisdom dictates that we wait. Because we're fine here. We got shelter. We got warmth. Uh, that's not going to burn down anytime soon. We got food. We have the means to keep this shack repaired when a storm does come. So I think we should wait until the storm passes before we, we start this. Um, and of course, I'm going to cut the camera and um, bring you guys back when we're ready to go. Okay, so I'll see you after the storm. All right, guys, it's uh, actually the next day in game, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I killed 100,000 snow wolves, timber wolves, arctic wolves, whatever they are, and the storm still didn't come. Um, so I finally decided, all right, I'm just tired of sitting here doing nothing. So I, what I decided to do is run over to the forest, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get enough materials to make ourselves some hedgehogs. And then, uh, so right before I started the camera, the storm actually started. So we'll let the storm do its thing. And uh, so what we have to do is we have to, uh, excuse me, we have to make a crafting bench. So we're going to need uh, 50 wood, 12 stone, and some fiber. And I'm going to also have to set up another shelter too because I left my shelter back there. So let me get all that taken care of first. It shouldn't take too long. cook up some rope here and uh, then we'll make some hedgehogs I need to actually learn those too so a medium wood hedgehog that's uh, gonna take oh it takes 60 wood per okay problem is I can't take this down without this stopping so I guess I'm just gonna how many ropes does it take oh, it doesn't take that many rope okay so four per so we have we'll have plenty of rope so, why don't we do this then? Uh, let's stop that. And we should be able to make... We can make three of these so far. Now, I want to try something too. Can these be put down and then picked back up? I've actually never worked with them before in this game. Well, they're not very big. Shit. Wow, we're going to have to make a lot of those. Those are tiny. Are there larger ones? That said medium wood hedgehog. If we go to tier 3... We might be further ahead to make the walls and put spikes down. Of course, we're going to need... I think we're going to need iron for that, aren't we? Let's look. Yeah, we would need iron nails. You know, in hindsight, I would have, um... I would have probably done that back at our original base and brought those with us, but it just it didn't occur to me. Um, wow. Okay. We can pick these up, so that's good, but... Uh, I'm going to have to make a bunch of them. I'm almost thinking, screw this, let's just go do it. Let's get it done. Those are really, really small. Um. Okay, well, let me think about this, and when I bring you guys back, I'll either have a metric crap ton of hedgehogs, or I will have just decided not to do it. So, either way, I'll meet you guys back at the uh, mission location. Check this out, you guys. <laughs> I just, I just dropped a tree on top of a wolf and killed him. I figured the wolf would would move, but he just stood there and do do do. And took him out. So yeah, there you go. That's the first first time I've done that anyway. I didn't have the recorder on, obviously, to show the whole thing, but yeah, it was funny. 
So as luck would have it, as soon as I got back into the snow biome, another storm popped up. But uh, there is a cave right over here, because I actually popped into it earlier, that we can shelter in uh, until this storm passes. So I will meet you guys back at our spot when the storm's over. take off. It's also night time. So I don't think our shed took damage because we weren't close to it, but I could be wrong about that. So we're going to find out when we get around the corner here. And it looks like we probably have a couple wolves to deal with too. Or maybe more than a couple. Good lord. Not good. Not good at all. We need to take this. Um, this is a shit ton of wolves. We need to try and get across the crevasse. I'm running out of stamina. Though. Some of them jumped over. Interesting. Is you too? Alright, screw this. I've got skills with knives, man. Forget the spear. Whew. Okay. That was a little intense. Sounds like the rest of them fell down in the crack. Okay, let's um, activate that. Oh no, the back wall did take a little bit of damage. It's not anywhere near as bad as it could have been though. Go down to the crack, suckers. Let's um, see if we can s sleep here. Uh-oh. What happened to my bedroll? Ah, oh, I got destroyed. <laughs> I can't win. I can't win, you guys. Shit. Okay, well, we're just going to do this in the dark then, because I am not... I'm tired of waiting. We, I, I mean, in hindsight, I had no way of knowing this. In hindsight, I would have just done this as soon as we got here, because, man, this is taking forever. But it is what it is. Okay, so let's head over here. And what we need to do is kill those bastards. Okay, so I made a total of of 26 hedgehogs. Um, so let's let's set that down, but we're not going to start it yet. And so basically. Wolves are just incessant. Okay, the rest of them are stuck in the crevasse. Right? We good? Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm, I I don't even know if we're gonna have enough. I mean, these things are so small. But what we'll do is maybe something like this. And if the game decides to throw, like, mammoths at us, then, yeah, this could get really interesting. Uh, 
Um, I need a drink because I do not want to get dehydrated in the middle of this fight. That's going to make us a little more cold, but it is what it is. Okay, well, you know what? It's now or never. Let's make sure we have extra healing on our toolbar. And we've got our hammer. Let's do this. Looks like the unit's ready. This could get real interesting if it sends a mammoth after us. <laughs> um, if I... Do I take damage if I hit that? No, I don't. Okay, that's good. So if it's just smaller critters, we should be able to just keep this thing, you know, keep these things repaired and be fine. And look at some of them are falling down in the crevasse, too. That's amazing. I'll take it. That is funny, man. They're spawning from over there and going right down into the crevasse. <laughs> oh, man. Did I, like, absolutely majorly over-prepare for this? That seems odd, though, that they would do that deliberately. Maybe it's just random. So they might start coming from other directions, too. Okay, there's a polar bear. He's not... He can't figure out how to get over here. Oh, maybe he is going to figure out how to get over here. And that wolf jumped over. Oh, those didn't last very long. Okay. Okay, those are nowhere near as tough as the spikes on the walls. Okay, so let's grab this. Get that out of the way. And it's probably a good thing I made a couple extra of these, huh? Okay, let's see what happens. Again, man, having that crevasse there is helping us tremendously, though. The next bear that comes in, we, we should start plugging it before it gets all the way up to us. Oh, okay. Um, that didn't work so well. You're being paid to babysit that radar. Shut up, Saul. To get in range. I'd like to see you come down here and do all these quests. Yeah, that polar bear just charged that thing and took it out. Um, let's top our own health off, too, just to be on the safe side here. Okay. We're doing reasonably well, all things considered. Okay, that polar bear is going to come around. We can soften him up a little bit ahead of time. That's good. I don't want to waste my arrows too much, though. Is he going to do the same thing? Nope. He's dead. Suck it, polar bear. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with these hedgehogs, though, i got to say. Um, if I do this again... I'm going to do the walls and the spikes, because they are way stronger than these things are. And a lot wider, too. Okay, how are we doing? We are at 95%. We're almost there. Fantastic. And it's done. Okay. General heading. Bots are confirming. Mark down your map. Okay. That should be it.
Now what do we have to do? Investigate the weak wall. Alright. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take these with. Just in case we might want to try, you know, use them again. So let me get these picked up and I'll go collect my my campfire and then we'll we'll go to the next part of this. Alright, now it wants us to go to the wall here. So let's head on out. See you wolves. We are here at the big wall. Uh, I know it's going to be really dark uh, for you guys on screen, but I don't have the. Uh, of course, it's blocked. Think this would be easy? You probably knew this was going to be After blocked. After what the ACS did around here, I'm surprised there are caves at all. Surprised there are mountains. The UDA has your back. Sometimes. Supply drop marked on your map. A supply drop. Uh, it is uh, it is starting to get light out though. Um, what I was saying before Saul interrupted me is he is like uh, known to do um, is that I don't have enough materials to make another torch, so that's why I'm kind of being a little stingy with the torch. Uh, seriously, you may <laughs> you're gonna make me run all the way back there. Why didn't you just oh this game. All right, no point in belly aching about it. Let's just go back. Good gravy. Okay, we got the supply drop, um, but I don't know if I'm going to have room for it in here. Yeah, maybe. Let's just see what's in here. Oh, just that. A vapor laser. This thing needs power. The UDA giveth and the UDA taketh. Well, forgot to give you an adequate power source. I'm sure you can figure it out. Come on, I just took a bandage. Why do I still have frostbite? Well, I guess that's hypothermia. Wonderful. So, okay, power? Really? This quest sucks, you guys. Oh my goodness. And it's only a one, a, a 24 hour quest. Wow. Okay. That really sucks. Um, all right, we're gonna, uh, let's get back to this, to the spot. We're just gonna have to deal with this hypothermia. We got plenty of, of health health pool, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, except for it's, it's screwing with our stamina, though. Like, big time. Um, okay, so power. Wow. That's gonna be... That means we are gonna have to do steel. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Unbelievable. Come on, stamina. Wow. All right, well, had I known that, of course, you guys know that I didn't know that because I told you from the get-go that I have never done this quest or watched anybody else do it. Um, We would have stayed in gr ground to level three before we even started any doing any of this crap. So, I gotta decide what my next play is here. There really is no reason for us to stay in the snow biome then until we can come back with power, which means we probably should go back to our original base. Um, 
or even just go into the forest here and set up a new base because there's nothing at the well yeah we got our we got enough stuff at the original base including our smelter that we probably should go back there oh boy what a pain and the wolves are just nuts in this biome Let's take one of these. So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking no point in going back there at all. Um, we need to get back to our original base and grind to, to steel so that we can make a biofuel generator for power. That's unfortunate that I didn't know that, but I didn't know it. So that's what you get when you decide you're not going to Look ahead. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's just get back into the forest biome. And, um, I, in fact, I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do, you guys. I think I'm going to cut, uh, I think we're going to end the episode here. And this is obviously going to be a multi part episode. Anyway, um, I'm going to go back to the forest back to my original base and grind to steel grind to a generator and you know since we're going to do that anyway i might even i might even make a rifle or something and when i'm ready to come back here to finish this damn quest i will bring you guys back at that point the thing Again, the thing that makes this mission so difficult from an in real life perspective is I got to keep working on it. I'm, I'm not going to have time to, I mean, I have 24 hours but from the time I started it, but I got to work tomorrow. So it's not like I can, you know, I'm recording this on Sunday afternoon. So I'm going to have to pretty much stay up as late as possible tonight <laughs> to get all of this done. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know, it is what it is. I'll tell you one thing, Styx is a lot harder than Olympus. It is, and, and I'm actually very glad, now that I've seen how this has all gone down here, I'm very glad that I um, did not do this on hard difficulty, you know, that we just do it on normal. So, yeah, let's just get out of this stupid snow biome. And so, yeah, guys, I'll wrap up the episode here. Um, my plan is to start up the next episode back at the blockage with everything we need to get through it. And then that's what we will do. And I probably won't bring you back until then because it's just going to be me grinding to tier three and getting steel and doing all the stuff we need to do. Which, I mean, it's not going to take a million years for me to do that, but it's going to take a long, lot longer than I was anticipating. So it is what it is. All right, guys, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.